Now that we've set the mechanical limits on the lock motor and gearbox, we're going to connect the low voltage limits to the iDrive 300. The iDrive 300 comes from the factory set for low voltage limits and we will take you through the wiring process. This motor and gearbox is set up for low, vi low voltage limits and in order to do that you have to connect some wires over to the iDrive 300. We have a three conductor cable that comes from the iDrive 300 with a white, a red, and a black lead. The white connects into pin 11 on the terminal strip and jumpers over to pin 5. That is supplying limit switches with voltage. We then have a jumper internally on the motor from 10 to 8 on the direction 2 limit, 4 to 2 on the direction 1 limit. Those are the secondary limit switches. The primary limit switches then for direction 2 connect to terminal 7, the red wire, and direction 1 or to terminal 1, the black wire. We're now out here at the iDrive 300 where we're going to talk about the low voltage limit connections to the lock motor and gearbox. But first let's talk about the iDrive 300 itself. We have a unit which has motor contactors that are mechanically interlocked, a thermal overload for motor protection which is provided by the National Electrical Code. We have a transformer which allows us to have either a 208 volt, a 240 volt, or a 120 volt input. It will work with any of those motors. The motor connections and the power connections are very simple. The power connects on the terminal plot to the hot and the neutral. The motor connections, we have a neutral connection, we have a ground which connects to the ground stud, we have our red wire which in this case is direction 2 or close, and we have our black wire which is direction 1 and open. We also have fuse protection for both the motor and the transformer, second, the transformer uh, protection. The thermal overload is adjustable so you can set it for the proper motor thermal rating and resettable. If it happens to trip you push the orange button to reset it. We then have the protections that take place on our board assembly. We have a handoff auto switch which has a center auto position. It goes to off and then to on or close and then in the opposite direction it goes auto, off, open. We have a time delay from when you get a signal, an open or a closed signal, to when you energize the contactors to eliminate any chance of a false reversal of the motor. Our motor connections are all by terminal strip our, our, uh, <clears throat> for our limit assembly and this is also where if you were hooked to a computer you would make your computer connections to operate it in an automatic mode. Out at the, at the uh, lock motor, we had a three-wire conductor that we brought out from the iDrive 300. That same conductor is here. We have our white, which connects to terminal 7, and that's our 24 volts AC. We have our black, which in this case is our direction 1 limit and connects to terminal 6. And we have our red, which is our direction 2 limit and connects to terminal 5. We then have our open, our open light and our open limit switch light, our closed light and our closed limit switch light, and we have our two safety jumpers if we happen to get stuck on a secondary limit. The only time these should ever be used in a low voltage limit configuration is for an emergency, moval, emergency movement of the motor when we are stuck on a secondary limit. If you were stuck, you would simply take this, the jumper off, move it over one pin, and reconnect it. And you see as soon as I connect it, the motor starts to move past the limit. We'll put it back to the normal position. Now that we've done, <clears throat> we're in the open position and on the open limit, we'll move it to the closed position. Notice the time delay before the motor starts moving. The open light, the closed light came on. 
and then the closed limit pipe came on. That is how you wire the iDrive 300 for the low voltage limits. As always, when you're hooking up any electrical equipment, as in the iDrive 300 or the lock motor and gearbox, we want you to refer to the owner's manual. We also have electrical drawings that are supplied with the iDrive 300 for connection to your motor and gearbox. If you have any questions during the installation, please contact Link4 Corporation.